Here it is, with so many people making comparisons between Larry Legend and Luca Legend, Bird and Doncic, we decided the only right thing to do is to run an NBA 2K one-on-one -on -one simulation and see what these two legendary players would do in a matchup against each other. So we're gonna let the game get started, let the guys get, you know, warmed up, going with the first shots, you can keep track of that, but for for those of you who don't know, we're going to also run through just some of the major accomplishments these two players achieved. And I guess we're going to start with Luca because, oh yeah, Luca's wearing the all-white uniform or outfit. Larry's in all-black, so you can keep track of, of the game and the score. Well, let's see what Luca does there. Luca draws first blood. Nice move. Nice move by the Slovenian sensation. But as we were saying, we're going to get into some... Uh, major accomplishments from the players careers and for Luca uh, you have to know that he was a giant in Europe already he was a EuroLeague champion in 2018 the league MVP the finals MVP he also won the European basketball championship with his uh, home country of Slovenia then moving on to the NBA he's already a three-time all-star a two-time all NBA first team member rookie of the year and perhaps one of the craziest accomplishments or records that he already achieved in his young career and there are many of them but the craziest one in our opinion is that he holds the highest scoring average for NBA playoff history with 33.5 points meaning that is he is 0 0.1 points ahead of MJ it's just amazing and crazy to, to, to think about that and you can see Luca has a scoring touch he's up 4-2 on Larry but don't count Larry out because for our younger fans who don't know about Larry Bird he is one of the deadliest shooters of all time he's one of the greatest no he is the greatest trash talker of all time and this is not our opinion this is what NBA players and NBA legends have been talking about. I mean, there are stories of Clyde Drexler, John Sally, Sean Kemp, Reggie Miller, you name it. All of them said that Larry was just brutal when he was talking trash, but the biggest thing was that he would back it up. A crazy story before we get into Larry's accomplishments was when he was playing against the Blazers, he said to his teammates, look, today I'm playing left-handed. He, you can see in the simulation that Larry is a right-handed player, but he decided to play against the Blazers with his left hand because after the Blazers, they were playing the arch nemesis Los Angeles Lakers, and he said, I want to rest up my right hand for the Lakers. So he goes against the Blazers, play with his left hand, and what does he do? He scores 47 points. That's just how gangster Larry Bird was. Um, the game is... Whoa! whoa. Did you see that, Luca with the nasty dunk but Larry's not giving giving up he's also oh wow that was nice that was a nice dunk by uh, by Larry as well speaking of uh, talking trash and garbage uh, Larry had such a crazy beginning to his career that before becoming a star in college he spent some time in his hometown of French Lick uh, as, as a garbage man who was cleaning the streets and things like that and he actually said that he enjoyed that and I guess that that goes to show that the kind of work ethic he had and it's a, it's a huge respect and props to him uh, a funny thing his mother shared about him that his childhood nickname was Mr. Clean which NBA players probably uh, could never think about but supposedly he was he was really obsessed with being clean because every time he would play basketball the first thing afterwards after practice or playing he would come in wash and change his clothes so that's you know kind of a cool story uh, about him uh i guess we're gonna get stuck with the trash talking stories but another great trash talking story is when uh, larry won his third consecutive nba three-point shootout he didn't even take off his warm-ups and he talked to the other contestants he just looked at him and said so who's coming in second today so just think about that and how crazy it is and how crazy this game is. Luca with the dunk again to tie it up at 13. Oh man, this is gonna go down to the wire. It's gonna be intense. So now finally, let's get to uh, Larry's accomplishments. He's a three-time NBA champion, three-time MVP, two times finals MVP, 12-time All-Star, nine-time member of the All-NBA First Team. Uh, many don't know it, but uh, for three years, he was also a member of the uh, NBA All-Defensive Second Team. So. 
Larry could shut people down and let's see if he'll be able to do that against Luca because we all know how dominant Luca is on offense. Whoa, whew, that was a nice shot attempt by Luca. He cleans it up, picks up his own trash, puts it back in. Close game, one point lead for Larry. What? Make that two point lead for Larry. Nice shot. So, uh, as we mentioned, yeah, uh, Larry was also a member of the 50 40 90 club two times in his career, and he even was coach of the year in 98 when he was coach of the his uh, Indiana Pacers I mean uh, Larry is a Boston Celtics legend but he's from Indiana from French Lick one of his nicknames is uh, the Hick from French Lick and uh, so that was that was a nice kind of a full circle in in his career where he went back to the Pacers and he was he was a coach for that successful team they had back then uh, there are also rumors or announcements that there a museum will be opening up uh, for Larry Bird in 2023 there were some uh, talks about it being open in 22 but I think everything was just moved back because of uh, because of COVID and whatnot so let's hope that this happens and now let's focus on the game it's game point for Larry it's going to be close now. Luca, Lucas fighting for his life, going with a desperate move, but unfortunately, unfortunately didn't fall for him. But now he's living dangerously. Larry, Larry's just backing him up. Wow, nice pump fake, turn around, bam, that's game. I have to say it's kind of expected because Luca, as great he is, he still has, you know, uh, room to grow to improve his game to gain that experience that Larry has and even when uh, when Luca does all that and catches up in those aspects of the game you still have Larry's trash talking as we said it's just an elite part of his game uh, that so many players have talked about and uh, this this was a fun matchup uh, we hope that you enjoyed it. Here are, here are some replays of the best moves from the game. It was a fun one. Thanks for tuning in, and we're looking forward to the next one.